Something is coming. Huh? What's coming? <gasps> it is here. <gasps> Sandstorm! <laughs> Woohoo! Do you see Jane or Zumi yet? No. Sand dune ahead, Leo. All right. Hit the brakes, Katie. They found us. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zumi. Hi, Leo. Look at this place. It's huge. <laughs> but I see you got yourself a sandboard. Nobody said ranger work can't be fun. We can take turns on it. Now, hold on to this tightly. Stand up straight. Don't let go. Something is coming. Huh? What's coming? <gasps> it is here. <gasps> Sandstorm! Wait, where's Hero? <gasps> Hero! I'll find him. Hurry, get inside. Got it. Stay put. I got him. Let's go. Head east. There is a cave where we can take shelter. Got it. Phew. Is everybody okay? Yep. We sure are. I'm glad we got out of that sandstorm in time. You okay, Hero? You scared us. <laughs> huh? huh? That's not Hero. Oh, no. I grabbed the wrong animal. I'm so sorry, but what are you? And what's with those enormous ears? Over here. I sent you a photo of it, Katie. Can you find out more? Sure, Leo. That is a fennec fox. The fennec fox is the smallest fox in the world. And it lives in the desert. Those big ears help it to release heat so it can stay cool in the hot desert. That's not all. Fennec foxes don't need much water and they have fur covered feet to protect them against the hot sand. They're perfectly suited for desert living. But Hero isn't. And he's out there alone. Sandstorm or not, we've got to go back for him. Let's go! What are you waiting for, Jane? Come on! <sighs> we are too late. <gasps> Uh-oh. Maybe there's another exit. <sighs> but I can barely see ahead. It's too dark. Just use a torchlight. <gasps> Good thinking. Who's there? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky? Do you know how to get out of here, Ranger Rocky? We have to find Hero. Hero? Huh? Where is he? I wanted to grab Hero and escape the sandstorm, but I grabbed a fennec fox instead. Well, we can all take a lesson from your new buddy and dig our way out. Fennec foxes use their paws as shovels to dig burrows in the sand. In fact, their burrows can go pretty deep. So, if we all start digging like the fennec fox, we should be out of this cave pretty soon. Then what are we waiting for? Let's start digging! All right! Ah, it feels great to be out of that cave. The sandstorm has stopped. Now let's go find Hero. I trust that you're in good hands, Junior Rangers. If anyone can help you find Hero, it's the fennec fox. Besides its ability to dig, it also has great hearing and a keen sense of smell. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! The sandstorm has shifted the sand around, but I'm certain this is the place. Hero! <laughs> the fennec fox found something. What is it? <gasps> it's Hero's backpack!
Look, a burrow. Wait, come back. We need your help. Don't worry. We won't lose him. Good thinking, Katie. Where's it going? <gasps> Baby fennec foxes. So it wasn't looking for Hero after all. Hold up. Hero! 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 <gasps> You're okay. I'm sorry I left you behind. We would not have found Hero without the Fennec Fox's help. Thank you. And I'm really sorry I grabbed you by mistake. <laughs> it seems Hero made new friends while we were gone. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Fennec, Fennec Foxes! Foxes. <laughs> oh, is that you, Junior Ranger Pale? What's up? Hola, Leo. What took you so long? You're never going to believe what I found. There's a monkey climbing down a tree. Really slowly. And it's green. But there's no such thing as a slow green monkey. So I thought I'd better call Leo for help because there must be something wrong with it. Um, just give me a minute, Pale. Oh, and I took a photo of it. I'm sending it to you right now. Um, thanks, Pale, but... So what should I do, Leo? Do you think it's sick? Sorry, Peo, but I can't look at your photo right now. I'll get back to you once I'm done, okay? Oh, okay. Hmm, what is this? <gasps> it's algae! The green stuff is algae! What was that? It's okay, I know what to do now. Thanks, Leo! Huh? Wait, Peo! Don't worry, monkey. Peo and Pico will make it all better. Hmm... Who was that, Leo? It was Pale. He found a really slow green monkey. Hmm. I don't think that's a monkey. But there's only one way to be sure. To, to the, the treehouse! Tree Let's see. It's not a monkey. It's a three-toed sloth. Sloths spend most of their lives hanging upside down from trees. They only come down once a week when they have to use the bathroom. <gasps> Once a week? Yep. Sloths move very slowly to help them save energy. In fact, a sloth's slow lifestyle allows algae to grow on its fur, causing its coat to turn green. The green fur helps it camouflage itself in the trees and hide from its predators. So, a green sloth is a safe sloth. I'd better tell Peo. Hola, Leo. Hey, Peo. Guess what? That's not a monkey you found. That's a sloth. Mmm, a sloth. That's right. And there's nothing wrong with it. Sloths move slowly, and its green fur is a useful camouflage. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? I cleaned off the algae. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's squeaky clean. What do we do? What do we do? Don't worry, Pale. We'll be right over to fix this. Ranger, out! Hi, guys. Wow, it's really slow. It'll be way safer up in the trees, but it's going to take forever. We've got to help it go faster. But how do we make it grow faster? Why crawl when you can fly? Huh? A flying sloth? Wow! Cool! The equipment we brought sure came in handy. Ready, Leo? Got it. Now let's fly this sloth back to its home. Yes, it's working. Slowly now, steady. Huh? What's going on? That's not supposed to happen. Oh, no. The sloth. I can't control it. It's not responding. Incoming! Watch out! <laughs> wow! Because you dropped the remote? Hand it over. Maybe I can fix it. Here you go, Katie. I'm really sorry. <gasps> it's flying away! We'll go after it. Jetpack, activate. The buttons seem fine. Uh, what if I replace the batteries? Um, I want to help too. Aha! Uh -huh. Katie, can I borrow your jetpack for a second? Sure, Peo. Jetpack, activate! Whoa! Wait, what? Oh, no! Peo, stop! Do you even know how to use it? Hang in there! I can do this, I can do this! Oh! I can't do this! Leo, help! Huh? 
huh? Hey, yo! Ah! Uh-oh! Hero, you get the slaw. I'll get Payo. <laughs> Payo? Payo! Payo! Thanks, Leo. What were you doing with Katie's jetpack? I just wanted to help. <laughs> Did you find the sloth, Hero? <laughs> Over there! It's the sloth! It's swimming! It's pretty fast! I thought sloths were slow. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Sloths have a trick or two up their sleeves. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Sloths can swim three times faster than they move on land. And they're great underwater, too. They can hold their breath for up to 40 minutes. Hmm, what happened to the green algae on its fur? It was all my fault. I washed the algae off the sloth. It wasn't your fault. You tried. No, I'm the worst junior ranger ever. I'm bad at everything, except plants. I know everything about plants. Wait a minute, aren't algae plants? They're like plants. They need sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, and some nutrients to grow. I know everything about algae. Then growing algae is right up your alley, Peo. Let's grow algae on its fur. <gasps> yes, of course, I can help. Give it a try, Peo. I'm sure you can do it. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. All right, Peo, do your thing. Sloth is green again. Let's make sure he gets home safe. Any time now. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Do you see the blue kingfisher? I can't see. Oh, I see something. <gasps> bye bye, Birdie. Oh, man. Maybe next time. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? A meerkat. Huh? A meerkat is up on my head, Leo. Zumi and I found a family of meerkats looking for a new home. A family of meerkats? How many of them are there? A few. Do you know where we should take them? I think that's a question for our computer. To the treehouse? Race you there. Let's see. Meerkats. Here we go. Meerkats live in groups called mobs. They can be found in the deserts and grasslands of Africa. A mob of meerkats lives together in underground burrows. Living underground keeps them cool and safe from other animals. Everyone in the mob has a job to do. Some meerkats look for food, some babysit, while some are sentries. Sentries stand in high places and look out for danger. When they sense danger approaching, they warn the rest with an alarm call. The mob will then run and hide in their burrows. So, the meerkats on top of your heads must be the sentries. I guess they wanted a better view, but they cannot stay on top of my head forever. We need to help the meerkats find a new place for their burrows. Yes, we do. We'll be right over to help. Ranger out. Ranger out. Come on, Katie. Let's go help the meerkats find a new home. Huh? Was that an alarm call? Hi, Jane. Oh, no. What's wrong? They are afraid of you and Katie. The sentry sounded an alarm. The meerkats think we're a danger to them. Don't be scared. We're here to help. Huh? What are they digging at? They are trying to get to their old home. But it doesn't look anything like an underground burrow. What happened? Hmm. The sand. It is damp. There was a flood. Ah, oh, the burrow was destroyed. Poor little meerkats. It's no wonder they're looking for a new home. Come on, Junior Rangers. It's up to us to help them. Let us help you find the perfect new home. I think they like the idea. They should do. All right. Hop on, everyone. Let's roll. Hey, 
hero? Ow! It looks like we're full. But I'm sure we can find some space for you and Zumi. Do not worry, Katie. We will follow on foot. All right! Then away we go! It is you two again. Come now. Hang tight. This is perfect! There are trees for them to look out from, plenty of sand, and lots of open space for them to build their burrows. And look! Neighbors! Aw, that's so nice. They're helping them dig a burrow already. Wait a minute. What's going on? They are not helping them. They are getting ready for a fight. Uh-oh. We have to stop them. Huh? What's that? Is it a hawk? Is it an eagle? No, it is Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! And not a moment too soon. You've got to get those meerkats out of here. Meerkats aren't neighborly animals. They're territorial. Territorial? That means they don't like other meerkats that are not in their mob coming into their space. What you just saw was a meerkat war dance. By fluffing out their fur and raising their tails, they're trying to make themselves look bigger and scarier than they really are to chase other meerkats away from their home. Oh no! They're at it again! Meerkat sentries have a special call to warn the others of danger, right? Uh-huh. I know a way to stop them. Katie, on my command, I need you to play the meerkat alarm call on your tablet. The rest of us will grab our meerkats and get into Platypus One quick. Their alarm call? <gasps> oh, I get it. Short thing. We're going to make them forget all about the fight. Rangers, are you ready? Ready when you are, Leo. All right. Katie, hit it. It is working! The meerkats are distracted by the call. Now's our chance to get them out of here. Quick, grab as many meerkats as you can. You're coming with me. We have to go now, meerkats. Pardon me. Whoops. Sorry. Ugh, this is uncomfortable. And that's everyone. Then let's get out of here. If you're looking for a new home for the meerkats, I know a place. So, what do you think? There's a lot of space for you to build burrows. And I don't see other meerkats around. There is also a tree for you, Sentry. I think they're finally home. Mission accomplished. Coming right at you, Katie. I got it. <sighs> Katie, are you okay? Yeah. Thanks, Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hello, Leo. I found two baby elephants playing by their river. But one of them looks sad. Just look at this photo. What? A sad baby elephant? We can't have that. We need to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Can you and Kitty come over to help me do that? Of course, Jane. We'll be there right away. Great. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's see if we can find any relevant information about them. Right behind you, Katie. Here it is, the African bush elephant. African bush elephants are the world's largest land mammal. An average elephant can weigh up to 6,000 kilograms and measure up to 3.3 meters high. Wow, it's so much taller than Ranger Rocky. Elephants are known for their trunks, large ears, and ivory tusks. Their large ears help them stay cool. And unlike us, elephants can flap their ears. 
You mean like this? <laughs> Without using your hands, Leo. But it made you laugh. Hey, I know how to cheer the baby elephant up. There they are. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zoomy. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Are those the elephants, Jane? Yes, they are brothers. Their younger brother is the one that is upset. The younger brother kind of reminds me of you, Katie. Uh-huh. Oh, here they come. Gee, thanks. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, no. Is there something wrong with his trunk? Yeah. Is that why he's sad? There's nothing wrong with it. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Elephants use their trunks to smell, grab food, and take dust baths. They also use them to suck up water, then spray it into their mouths to drink. African elephants have two finger-like growths at the tip of their trunks that allow them to grab smaller objects. So elephant trunks are pretty important. But baby elephants must first learn how to use them. Aww, the younger elephant is sad because he's not as good as his brother. Then let's teach him how to use his trunk. What a lovely idea. Good luck with that, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Go on, give it a try. Put your trunk in the water, then suck Aww. It's okay. Let's try again. Huh? Whoa, that's a lot of water. He's like a fountain. Hey! <gasps> Where are you going? Come back! It's wrong to show off like that. It's okay. Your brother knows he's wrong. We can help you with your trunk. Slow down. Huh? Oh no! Oh no! He is dropped! Hang on, we'll get you out! Jane, you stay here with Zumi to watch him. The rest of us will get Platypus One. Got it! Oh no! Whew. He is alright. Uh oh. Platypus One is not powerful enough! What should we do now? He's going to the river? He is soaking up water. But what's he doing with it? If we fill the hole with water, he can swim out of there. Good thinking, buddy. Come on, Rangers. Let's give him a hand. I don't think that's enough. It's going to take forever to fill it up. We need more help. Whoa! Amazing! What's going on? He called for backup. He's instructing them. All right. It'll be filled with water in no time. Let's do this, Rangers. That should do it. Yes! All right. We did it! Turn that frown upside down. Bye, Bye elephants. elephants! Whoa there. Aww. Aww. He'll be fine. Big brothers can get annoying sometimes, but they'll always be there for you. Huh? Hold it. Hold it. Oh! Ranger Leo speaking. Hero? Oops, sorry about that. Hi, Junior Ranger Peo. What's up? Hola, Leo. Look at my llama. Huh? Okay, it's not exactly mine. I'm taking care of my cousin's pet llama, Spitz. But I don't know anything about llamas. Ooh, llamas. Don't worry, Peo. We're here to help. Did someone say llamas? Hey, Katie. Peo wants to learn more about llamas. He's helping to care for one. I've just sent you its photo. Aw, it's adorable. I can't wait to find out more about it. 
Come on up, Leo. The computer is ready to go. Right behind you, Katie. Just leave it to us, Peo. I'll call you in a bit. Ranger out. Let's see. There it is. The llama. Llamas are herbivores. That means they eat only plants. After a llama chews its food, it swallows it, then brings the food back up to its mouth and chews it more before it swallows it again. Llamas are strong. They can endure harsh conditions like extreme temperatures and they need little water. Llamas are pack animals, animals that help humans transport goods. However, if the load is too heavy, these stubborn animals may refuse to move and lie down on the ground. That must be Peo, right on time. Hey, Peo. Leo, help! Huh? What's wrong? I tried to ride Speeds, and now I can't get down. Ah! Where are you going, Speeds? Stop! Whoa! Ah! He's not stopping, Leo. What do I do? It's dangerous. Oh, no. Hang in there, Peo. We'll be right over. Ranger out. I got his location. Awesome work, Katie. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> Stop a llama! By adding more weight on its back. Hero, I need you to land on Spitz. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! They're not heavy enough. Ah! Ah! Leo, we need you. Got it. Oh! Whoa! Ah! It's not working, Katie. We're all gonna die! Stop right there. Huh? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. Is everything all right? You saved us. Why is everyone riding a llama? I was trying to take Spitz to see my favorite flowers. I'm helping my cousin to take care of him. And we were trying to stop Spitz because he went out of control. Peo couldn't get down. Careful now. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. You're welcome. He's one cute llama. Spitz is so not cute. I was wrong. Humans and llamas can never be friends. He doesn't listen. He's dangerous. Oh, and he spits. Ew. Ew. Yuck. Don't be so quick to judge, Peo. Llamas are usually quiet and gentle. They only spit when they're feeling threatened or irritated, and it's mostly directed at other llamas. Humans and llamas can certainly be friends. In fact, llamas are a huge help to us. Not only do they transport goods, they also guard farm animals like sheep. Their dried poop can also be used as fuel or fertilizer. Have you tried to befriend him, Peo? Well, not really. I did talk about it, but then I got carried away. Literally. <sighs> I'm sorry I said that, Speeds. <gasps> not again! Cheer up, Peo. Just leave it to us. We'll help you befriend Spitz. Ah, uh, friendships are beautiful. That sounds like a wonderful idea, Junior Rangers. See you around. <gasps> Bye, Bye, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Huh? <laughs> Peo, I think Spitz is hungry. <gasps> of course, food. Pico loves it when I feed him his favorite berries. I just have to feed Spitz his favorite food. What's your favorite food, Spitz? Tacos? Cupcakes? Pancakes? <laughs> Spitz is a herbivore, Peo. He eats plants. Plants? I have plants in my bag. Here, Spitz. Oh, no. Not again. Not the face. Not the face. <gasps> He's eating it. Spitz is eating my plant. He accepted my gift. We're friends now. Congratulations, Peo. Do you want some more? Oh no, this is impossible! I'm all out of plans! No! Spitz, come back! Calm down, Peo. I think Spitz likes to eat that plant. All we have to do is find more of it. Let's split up and search. Of course! Wait for me, Spitz! We're going to be best buddies after all! Did you guys find it? No. Neither did I. Over here, guys! I found it! <gasps> Peo, it's dangerous! Get away from there! But I'm so close! Just a bit more! Got it! Whoa! Ah! Peo! Huh? Spitz! You saved me! Peo, are you alright? I sure am! Spitz saved me! Oh, uh, 
I guess he just wanted to save the plant. Huh? <gasps> Aww. You did it, Peo. You're friends now. Yay! Now let's go see my favorite flowers together. Ugh. <laughs> 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 What's that smell? And I don't mean the flowers, Katie. It's coming from over there. Pee, you! You're definitely getting closer. It's... Hero! Stay, Hero. Good boy. When was the last time Hero had a bath? I think it was... Hmm... Um... Oops. <laughs> I don't remember. Come on, Hero. It's bath time. Hero, come back. You need a bath. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's new? Hi, Leo. I'm updating my smell collection. I've been collecting different smells of animals and plants to use as smell bombs. Wow, sounds awesome. It is. I'd like to add the smell of a red panda to my collection. We'd be glad to help. Cool beans. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. Ranger out. Hero's bath will have to wait, Katie. Kai needs our help to find red pandas for his smell collection. Red pandas? I'm sure the computer will give us more information. Red panda. Here it is. Even though they're called red pandas, they don't look anything like pandas. While both pandas share similar names and eat lots of bamboo, they're not closely related to each other. Does it say where we can find them? Red pandas can be found in the eastern Himalayan forests. They spend most of their time in trees. I'll tell Kai about what we found. Hi, Leo. Did you guys find anything? We sure did. Red pandas can be found in the trees of the eastern Himalayan forest, and they eat bamboo. So we'll have to search for a forest with lots of them. Great! I'll narrow down the search and send you a location. Ranger out! Ranger out! Hi, Kai! Hi. Hi, guys! This is the perfect spot to begin our search. There's bamboo everywhere. Ew! What's that smell? A uh, hero hasn't had a bath in a while. Well, it's a very strong smell. I've never smelled anything like it. Speaking of smells, we should really begin our search for the red pandas. Of course, red pandas. But what now? Which way should we go? Do you guys hear that? Is that a red panda? <laughs> Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here? We're helping Kai look for red pandas so he can collect their smell. But we don't know where to start. Like skunks, red pandas release a strong smell to drive others away when they are afraid. I believe that's the stink Kai is looking for. Red pandas also use their smell to mark their territories. They leave a smell behind to inform others that the area belongs to them. Good idea, Hero. We can trace a red panda by the smell it leaves behind. I'll use my smell detection vision to find the red pandas. The smell detection vision detects the chemicals present in different animal smells. Right now, it's searching for the red pandas. Got it! Over there, guys! Bye, Ranger Rocky! The smell is strongest here. It's a red panda! Cool beans! Time to get it stink. <gasps> it's headed this way. <gasps> oh, man. It's your new smell bomb, an earthworm. I already have that one. I just want the red panda stink. What if we tried getting closer to it? Jetpack, activate. Hey, wait for me. Hover boots, activate. It's just sleeping. How can we get it to release its stink? Ranger Rocky did mention that the red pandas release their strong smell when they're afraid. <laughs> Hero, it's not right to frighten the red panda like that. But do you smell that? 
It worked! That's the smell I'm looking for! Be careful, Kai. Yes, the red panda stink has been successfully added to my collection. Stay away! There's nothing for you in my backpack! Oh no! Katie is in trouble! What are those animals up to? No worries! The red panda stink would ward them off! One red panda smell bomb coming right up! What's going on, Kai? Where's the smell bomb? It's not shooting! I don't understand! There's nothing wrong with my smell bomb! I'll take that! Hang tight, Katie, and hold your breath. Yay, we did it! <laughs> Mission accomplished. Huh? That doesn't sound right. Mm, not again. Oh, a baby otter. Oh, it's so cute. Are you alone? Look at that! The early bird catches the worm! Let me see, Leo! Here you go, Katie! They're feeding their babies! <laughs> and it looks like Hero wants some of their food! I don't think you like worms, Hero! Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari! Hi, Leo! Look at what I found! It's a baby otter! Aww, but I think it's alone. Really? Let's find out more about what type of baby otter it is. Zari, you found a smooth-coated otter. Smooth-coated otters have webbed paws and they're excellent swimmers. They're able to hold their breath for up to eight minutes so they can hunt for prey underwater. Eight minutes without breathing underwater? I wish I could do that. Yeah, I would love to swim with smooth-coated otters. They're very social and playful animals. And they live in family groups. They live with their families? But this baby otter is all alone. Oh no, it must be lost. We have to get it back to its family. Don't worry, Zari. We'll be right over. Ranger out. Ranger out! Let's hurry over to Zari. Don't be afraid, Baby Otter. Where's your family? I don't see them anywhere. Huh? Ah! Oh, no! Oh, it's okay. Otters are good swimmers, right? The baby will be fine if it falls into the water? Um, maybe not. Smooth-coated otter pups rely on their mothers to protect and care for them. The mama otter feeds her babies milk and teaches them how to swim. Oh no! What if this baby otter hasn't learned to swim yet? We can't take any chances! I'll try to grab it from here! Uh, Wait, Zari! Don't touch it with your bare hands! Or the otter mom might not take it back later! Oh no! It doesn't look like it can swim at all. I'll save it. Don't worry, I'll get it. Jetpack activate. Come on, baby otter. Gotcha. Whew, that was close. Drink up, little one. So, how are we going to find the baby otter's family? Hello, <gasps> Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky! What do you have in your hand? It's an empty carrier. I just completed an animal rescue mission. Why do you have a baby otter? It's lost, Ranger Rocky. We have to find its family. Let's get this baby otter back to its family. This is one of the locations Ranger Lee mentioned. Do you see any otters? Yes, otters! That way! Hurry, everyone! What is it, Hero? Oh, look! There's another otter family over there. Huh? So which family does the baby otter belong to? Oh, no! Why are they fighting? This looks like a territorial fight. 
Smooth-coated otters are territorial animals. They leave sprints, which are strong-smelling, jelly-like substances to mark their turf. As the otter populations grow, there is more competition for food and living space. We need to stop the fight. I'm afraid we shouldn't interfere, Junior Rangers. It's not safe, and we might cause more injury. Then what should we do, Ranger Rocky? We'll just have to wait for things to cool down and try finding the baby otter's family later. This is another location where the otters might be. <gasps> otters! Over there! Okay, Junior Rangers. We'll let the baby out here. Let's wait at the side to make sure the family finds it. I don't think the otter family can hear its squeaks. They're moving further away from the baby. Let me help! Check it out, Junior Rangers. It's the otter, Mom! Ah! Goodbye, baby otter! Grow up big and strong! Don't get lost again! Mission accomplished! I'm glad we found the baby otter's family! Hi, everybody! My name is Leo! I am a junior ranger! And this is my puppy, Hero? Where are you? What is it, Hero? It's a bee! Careful, Hero. Keep a safe distance. The bee is collecting nectar from the flowers. Let's find out why. The bees collect the nectar and return to the beehive to make honey. What was that? It's a small bear! I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little bear. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is almost done. This animal is a sun bear. It's also known as a honey bear because it loves to eat honey. So it was trying to steal honey from the beehive, but why is it called a sun bear? The name sun bear is because of the golden colored crescent shape on its chest. All sun bears have it. You can find sun bears in the tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia and other parts of Asia. So other than honey, what do sun bears eat? Sun bears eat both plants and small animals. They eat insects such as bees, termites, and ants, as well as small birds and lizards. They have big claws, which they use to rip open trees and termite nests. The sun bear you found is very young. Normally, sun bears stay with their mothers for three to four years. Well, I think we should help little sun bear find his mother back in the rainforest. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun. What's the matter, guys? Why did you stop? It seems like they don't want to go into that direction. If we want to find the sun bear's mother, we have to continue. Let's go. Oh, what's that smell? Yuck, I smell it too. What is it, Hero? A flower? I think the smell is coming from this. This is a Rafflesia flower. They are one of the largest known flowers in the world. So why are there flies? 
the Rafflesia flower releases a bad smell to attract flies to spread its pollen. That's very interesting, Katie. But let's not stand too close to them. Quickly, let's go. The sun bear and Hero tried to warn us. Both of them have a very strong sense of smell. Ah, uh, it still smells horribly here. Oh no, so many Rafflesia flowers. <laughs> Let's follow them. Their noses can help us find a way out. We better stay here, little sun bear. It's up to you now. We did it! We found the sun bear's mother! Great work, everyone! Hooray! We found a young sun bear in our garden. We learned that a sun bear is the smallest of all bears, but they can be very dangerous. The young sun bear needed his mother, so we went to the forest and returned him home. Good job, children. You did it. Hmm. A bit of green here and... Oh, hi, everybody. My name is Leo and I am a junior ranger. This is my puppy, Hero. This? Oh, I'm painting the garden, but it's missing something. Hmm. That's it. Hero, go sit over there, then I'll paint you in it. Thank you, Hero. Perfect. This looks a bit strange. Wait, why is Hero black and white? And why does Hero look rounder? Hey, you're not Hero. You're a bear? There you are, Hero. Where did you go? And who are you? Are you lost? Hmm, where did it come from? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look here, bear. Hi, Katie. Did you find any information? Hey, Leo. The computer is coming up with information about our new friend. There, a panda, also known as panda bear, or a giant panda. A giant panda? But it looks small. That's because this panda is a young panda. It can grow up to 1.5 meters long and weigh more than you, me, and Hero combined. Where do giant pandas come from? Giant pandas come from the central parts of China. There, they live almost entirely on a bamboo diet. They love eating bamboo. There's no bamboo in the garden. We have to find a place where there is bamboo. Come and join us. That's a good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. We are finally at the mountain and brrr, it's cold. Let's put on our scarf and gloves. Good idea, Leo. Did you see any bamboo? Hmm, I don't think so. Let's walk around to find the bamboo forest. <laughs> what is it, Hero? Oh, no. The young panda is gone. Where did it go? It must have wandered off while we were putting on our scarves and gloves. We have to find him. Can you smell the panda, Hero? <coughs> Great, we'll follow you. Hey, I saw 
saw something black and white behind that rock. Oh my, it's not the young panda, it's a raccoon. Sorry, raccoon. Can you smell the young panda, hero? There, something black and white behind those plants. <laughs> oh dear, it's a mother goat with her children. She looks angry. Let's go. I think Hero found something. There you are. We've been looking for you, Panda. Phew. I'm glad that it's safe. We did it. We found the bamboo plants. Great work, everyone. Yippee! <laughs> a young giant panda in our garden. We learned that giant pandas live in bamboo forests in the mountains. So we found a bamboo forest where he can eat all day. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh. This is my collection of seeds. The small ones go here, the long ones go here, and the big ones go into the last bowl. Hey, are you eating my seed collection? Hmm, I think it's a squirrel, but it sounds like a little bird. Hi, Katie, are you there? Hi, Leo. What a cute little squirrel. The sound it makes is called chittering. So, a squirrel chitters. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great, and coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. It seems that the squirrel you found is a plantain squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in trees, and they belong to a group of squirrels called tree squirrels. As a tree squirrel, the plantain squirrel is a very good climber. Its curved claws provide a good grip when it climbs trees. It uses its long and bushy tail for balance when it jumps from place to place. The tail of our squirrel doesn't look very long and bushy. That's because it's very young. It's only around five to six weeks old. Baby squirrels at this stage are around half the size of an adult squirrel. I see. So what kind of food do plantain squirrels eat? Normally, plantain squirrels eat fruits, seeds, insects, and sometimes even bird eggs. But since the squirrel you found is still a baby, it needs to feed on its mother's milk to grow into a strong adult squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Then let's go there and return the baby squirrel to its nest and mother, since it still needs proper care and food. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, it's your turn for lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Hit subscribe and click the like icon. Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah. I see you've brought along a young plantain squirrel with you today. The plantain squirrel is very quick and agile in trees. They are able to jump a few meters between trees, and they rarely wander on the ground. Hey, the baby squirrel's gone. There it is. It's eating the tree bark. 
Actually, the young plantain squirrel is chewing the tree bark. Chewing bark and twigs helps the squirrel to sharpen its teeth. Normally, baby squirrels use the bark and twigs from their nest. So I guess this young squirrel really needs to get back to its home. But where can we find its nest? Plantain squirrels' nests can be found in the crooks or hollows of tall and leafy trees. So they are in high, safe places that are away from predators on the ground. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Maybe this is its home. Oh, no! We have to save it! I can't climb this tree. Whoa! That was amazing, Baby Squirrel. That was exciting. I guess we better go somewhere else. Is that the baby squirrel's home? There's a chittering sound coming from inside the nest. Look, there's the mother squirrel. Great work, hero. We're coming over. Goodbye, little friend. We did it. We found the baby squirrel's home. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> Holy moly! A mole! That's a mole, Hero. Moles live in holes and tunnels that they dig underground. We call those tunnels burrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What's up? Hi, Leo. I'm in South Australia right now, and you won't believe what I just found. It's a large burrow with mysterious tracks all around the entrance. And guess what? There are cube-shaped rocks stacked outside. Yuck! And they're stinky. I wonder what animal lives inside. I'll send you guys a photo of the stinky cube-shaped rocks. Stinky cube-shaped rocks? That's weird. Kyle, we'll look for more information about this mysterious animal. In the meantime, be careful and don't go into the burrow. We don't know what could be inside. Roger that. I'll be right outside waiting. We'll get back to you soon. Ranger out. It seems the rock isn't a rock after all. It's poop, and it belongs to the wombat. Wombats are the only animals known to produce poop that's cube-shaped. Wombats are also one of the largest burrowing mammals in the world. So Kyle found a wombat's burrow. He wouldn't go in without us, would he? Hello? Is anybody in there? Are these cube-shaped rocks yours? Hello? <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. Hey, Leo. It's me again. Hi, Kyle. You're breaking up. Is everything all right? Yeah, uh, about that. We found more information about the animal you were looking for. It's a wombat. And the stinky rocks you saw are actually the wombat's poop. So I'm stuck in a wombat burrow? Cool. Stuck? What do you mean? Well, I was just waiting outside the burrow, but then I fell inside. By accident. And the entrance collapsed behind me. Oh, no. Are you okay, Kyle? I'm fine. It's just a little dark in here. But I have some snacks with me, so all's great. Good. Katie and I will be right over to get you out of there. Ranger, out. Oh, well. When in trouble, have some chocolate. It's so big. I wonder what animal lives in there. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. What were you doing in there? I was practicing my burrowing skills with these claws. What are you doing here? Junior Ranger Kyle is stuck in a burrow after finding some cube-shaped poop. But we're having trouble finding him. Cube-shaped poop? That has to be from a wombat. Wombats leave their cube-shaped droppings outside burrows. 
to mark where they live so other animals stay away. When startled, they may dive back into it. Is everything all right? Not really. I ran out of chocolate. Are you here yet? Hey, what's the sound? <gasps> it's a baby wombat. Look, I found a new friend. Ah, uh, it's so cute. I'm glad you found a friend, Kyle. Hang in there. We're coming for you. Ranger out. There's no time to waste. Let's split up to look for him. Ranger Rocky, can you take that part of the forest? We'll take the other. Great idea, Leo. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Leo, it's a wombat. Could the burrow that Kyle is trapped in belong to that wombat? Let's follow it and find out. <gasps> it's a dingo! Hero, come back! No, Leo. We should be following the wombat instead. It might lead us to its burrow and Kyle. I'm sure Hero will be fine. He'll be able to handle the dingo. We have to save Kyle. You're right, Katie. Let's go. A wombat burrow. It's the exact same stack of poop. Kyle's hat. We are at the right burrow. Be careful, Katie. It might be the dingo. Ranger Rocky! Hero, you're all right! Hello, Junior Rangers. I saw Hero chasing a dingo away. Is everybody all right? Yes, we are. Is this the burrow Kyle is trapped in? Yes, it is. Well then, what are we waiting for? I'm glad I practiced my burrowing skills. Let's help them too, Katie. They're here. You see that, baby wombat? My friends are here to save me. Hero found something. Pants? Thanks for coming to get me, guys. Can I have my pants back? Hero tried to pull me out, but he pulled my pants off instead. It was nice meeting you today, baby wombat. Thanks for letting me stay in your home for a while. And thank you for getting me out of there, guys. Oh, I wish I could offer you some chocolate, but I'm all out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hit subscribe and click the like icon.